discussed a lot. How do I hang your lights? What this is, what way, what what. Um, there's all this information in the spec sheets is available on our website. But I also want to break it down for you in simple terms. Um, let's start over with the 100 waters, the closet case, and the multi-digital helper, better known to us as CC and MLH. Now, in veg, you're going to have it 18 inches above both of them. The mother's little helper will cover up to a 4x4 area in veg at 18 inches over the canopy with just 100 watts. You're not made to veg trees with it. I'm talking about plants that are in the you know up to 3 foot range around here. And then with the CC and flower, you're going to have it much closer. You would have it you know, a foot and even closer. I've had guys that literally pushed the plant, their plants into the light and it didn't burn them. But I would say you know the 6 to 10 inch range is a really good sweet spot because you're still covering up to a 2x2 two two at that point. You get any closer and your plants could grow into the shade out of the light. So keep that in mind. They're not super, super intense. They're good enough to get things going, but they're meant for smaller plants. So if your plant canopy is in the one foot to 18 inch range, you will rock it with a classic case. Stepping over to the 400 plus, which is, uh, comes in two versions. You have this, you know, the 120 degree reflector or you have a 90, which is like that bell shroud that goes underneath it. They're hung at different distances during different parts of the plant cycle. In veg, your 400 plus 120 is going to be 30 to 36 inches over the plant canopy. Your 400 plus 90 degree reflector is going to be at least three feet over the canopy to get started. And then during flower, your 400 plus 120 can be 12 to 18 inches over the canopy in flower. Your 400 plus 90 can be 18 to 24 inches over the canopy in flower. The 400 plus 90 is meant for higher ceilings and taller plants. It's more focused to penetrate deeper. So if you have a plant that's say five feet tall or three to four feet of canopy, the 400 plus 90 is a great tool for that job. Um, any questions about th this particular light? Don't hesitate to ask. We're here to help on that. Moving up to the big boy, the SK600. Um, I've gotten a lot of interesting uses of it so far, and I want to drive the point home that this is the extremely powerful plant weapon. It is super, super bright, super, super intense. In fact, most PAR meters only measure up to 3,000 because the sun usually only gets up to 2,000 or so, even at the equator. Um, this pegged the meter at 3,000 at one foot, so we won't even deal with that because that's too intense for plants. Close you want to get during flower is 24 inches. 30 is probably a safer bet, depending on the strains you're working with. In veg, you want this thing 48 inches above your plants. And if you're doing greenhouse type setup, that's why I put the 90 here, we have a separate 90 degree kit which just, just screws right on. That'll give you that, that focus for static mounting, high ceilings, and greenhouse applications. Uh, lots and lots of people asking about that, so we made something specific for that job. With this light, a supplemental lighting in the greenhouse with a 90 degree reflector, it can still be four feet over the plant canopy and blast them with more than enough supplemental light that they need. Most supplemental light people say you need 300 micromoles or so supplemental light. At that distance, you're getting more than that with the reflector kit on it. In your flower, you want this thing, want the standard unit, generally 30 inches over your plant canopy. See how your plants react. A couple inches either way could be all the difference it makes. If I was dealing with sensitive OGs, I might let it go to 32. If I was dealing with like some Gorilla Glue or something, uh, you know, Blue Dream Haze, Lemon Haze, everybody just loves that light, I'll let it get to 24, maybe even a hair closer. But keep in mind when that happens, the closer you get, the smaller the coverage area. So if you want to, if you have some super hungry, light hungry plants in a 4x4, no problem at all, 24 inches or so. But you're carrying your 5x5 five five area with everything else. That's where 30 inches comes in. Any other questions you have on how to use our lights, whatever they may be, how to hang them, you know, we you know, chain, rope ratchet, I have a guy static mounting. Um, all these things are available in your standard hydro store or your, you know, your local hardware store. If you have a question about doing something, I had a guy called me yesterday about a custom um, light rail system he was doing it. He actually has an SK600 that goes through like a, like a a flower shop, nursery door, that's, you know, those, those, those plastic flaps you walk through. He actually has a light rail, pushes the light through a dark flap in 12 hours here, and it goes back through the flap the other side 12 hours there, so it's on 24 hours a day. Blew my mind, but yeah, it was a pretty cool setup. Any questions you have, you know, hit us up here, email us, call us, wherever works for you. The subscribe button down there. Fill us in what you need to know, and we're here to help. We'll answer those questions.